Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero. Welcome back to Hello Charlotte. Previously on Hello Charlotte, we entered the TV world, where we entered a silent film that wasn't so silent and wasn't so nice. So don't touch the happy things. It's bad, bad stuff. What's going on here? My biggest fear is of meat and pomegranates. Meat is red, violets are blue. Flowers that tell lies have a bad memory. Would you be so kind as to bring me the context of the blue box? The black box, the yellow box, green, blue, blue, red, green, black. See, they, they forget fast. Black, blue, yellow, black. Changed. Changed. Red box. Where is the red box at? Seriously, where is it at? This is disorientating. I'm gonna stake my chances on this box. A fancy brooch. Oh god, we're actually being attacked by stakes. What? Okay. It's a new experience for me. It's a very rare one, if you know what I mean. Eh. Was it you that wanted it? I hand the item to the flower lady. Why, thank you. Here, you can have my old-fashioned brooch. I don't need it anymore. I attach the brooch to my ribbon. It emits a faint light. We can use the pin attached to it. Okay, so, stab it out, so we have a needle now, cross your heart and hope to die, stick a needle in your eye, the eye bleeds, this is interesting, caution beware of the three eyed, this door is closed shut. Use the pen. Where am I? What am I doing? So we can put a friend unit, one piece in the incinerator, and push the on button. I feel like this is a bad end no matter what you do. Okay, Felix, go in. Just kidding. You never cliche. I thought there would be volunteers. Pass forth dispose of your friend unit one piece. Oh, it's a maze. I'm very disoriented right now. How does these doors? It seems like a passage opens with something heavy staying on the block. It's just saying that one of us has to stay here. Never will search for another way out. That's right. You shouldn't get separated. We can look for another way out. Hmm. You stay here and wait. I'll find a way. If something happens to me, at least you'll have a chance to escape. You're irrational. Be careful on your way. Take this just in case. Will do. Medical scissors. So I'm afraid Seth will make me throw them out on the first opportunity. I'll be back soon. See you later. Gotta be careful, careful, careful. 
And then I get the maze. Nope, 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 no, no, no. Is there multiple e exits to this maze? Cause I sure hope there is. If not, we're in a we're in a load load of pain. Oh my god. I was saved by the hand of fate. And that that brings me here to this day. I did a good job. Go into the O's. So this is reversed. So up and left. Nice. How many crickets? Jiminy. I feel like I'm wasting time here. I wonder if Felix is alright. We left him all alone. I'm worried too. As expected from Seth to worry where it's... Let's hurry back to his side. Sure thing. What am I doing with my life? What is going on? There's a white door. That's where we came in. Oh my god. I guess, we, I guess we're supposed to go back. Oh god, this is going to be a long walk. See if there's like an alternate faster route. Nope. Yep, 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 do. Here we go. Okay. Good. It's good. It's doing good right now. Felix isn't in there. Oh god, he's going to the incinerator. No, the eye room. Door's half open. Open the door. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Looks like me. Like the mirror portrait. I've always wondered what rabbits have inside their bellies. I am... surprised. It wasn't cotton. Wow. That's heavy. I was too late. The girl approaches me, leaving the body like a toy she lost interest in. Why, hello, dear guest. The girl touches my cheek with her blood-soaked hand. Why are you so sad? Does it hurt anywhere? Here, I'll sing you a get better song. Pain, pain, go away. Don't come back the other day. I have many options in life. Sometimes they all overlap at once. This is one of those moments. What about Felix? I must leave without him. Over my dead body. Snap out of it. He's not even a person. What are you saying? Ah, I get it. We just have to switch the channel and make everything right. Hey. Who are you talking to? There's no one but me. The very next moment the girl looks at me as if she sees me for the first time. Let's play hide and seek. I'll close my eyes and count to sixty. Make sure you find a good place to hide. Or else. You're it. One, two. Straight sisters, not only for housekeeping. Yes, is
Yeah, this is bad. There's no place to hide. Where are you? I don't want to be cut alive. Please, please come wait for what she does, Seth. I'm begging you. Are you out of your mind? Can't you see? It's a bad end for me. Unless you rewind time, I'm dead one way or another. I still have the sisters Felix gave me. You know what to do, right? Stab, stab. Stab, 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 stab. Stab, stab. Found you. Umbrella Man's afternoon tea time. The meat is not yet rotten, but the body is hollow. Yet another unsightly death. This is no good. Not only you let the girl to run bath, you've completely lost control of her actions and manipulated by her. I cannot congratulate you on such an embarrassment for an ending. I'm deeply sorry for my inappropriate behavior as a puppeteer. I hereby request you to grant me another chance. That's quite a bold request, dear boy. I'll grant it, however. Death can be rather amusing. Try as many times as you like. It's pretty trippy. Pretty trippy stuff here. Somehow I feel I've been in there before. How about one of us goes to check what's ahead? It might be dangerous. I'll wait here. You're not going alone, of course. A puppeteer will go with you to ensure your well-being, right? That's right. Meowth. I knew you would understand. Just be careful. Take this just in case. Will do. See you later. Hi. You and me, we're together now. I'm in control. I'm a cool dude. It's alright. I'm not gonna get you killed. Kind of like I've gotten you all killed quite a few times, but I'm not... It's not gonna happen. It almost happened there, but it didn't happen, see? The important thing is it didn't happen. It's all that matters. You're kill... You're, you're chill. You're chill, man. It's all good. Same as before. What's wrong? Wait a moment. I'll check on Charlotte. Alright. Assuming direct control. Who are you? Hello there. Isn't it dangerous for a little girl to run around here all alone? I'm waiting for my friends to come back to my side. Is that so? Well, that's a pity they won't make it in time. As you will meet your death in ten minutes. That'd be bad. Seth will get fired if I die without him by my side. Yes, I will. Is that all to it? I don't want to cause anyone problems. Well, well. Aren't you a nice child? But Felix, will he be okay? I'm afraid he'll die shortly after. There is one way to save your friend, however. The masked man whispers something to Charlotte. Is that okay? Got it. Even though you disagree with my methods, it's the only way to save him, right? I'm too weak to do anything alone. The man pets Charlotte's head. Don't blame yourself for a single vain child. Well then. There's so many of you weird people around here. You people live such a confusing life. Oh my god. I'm only wasting time here. Got me back. Please. Sure, just a moment. Ah, uh, human body is such a fragile thing. I can't just apologize if I accidentally break it, can I? Well then, what do we have here? Hmm, all this junk is no good. Scissors? Not bad, but not the best option either. Such a shame I'll get this pretty dress dirty. Hey, I need those organs. 
Well, she does. Hi. Do you want to play hide and seek with me, my friends? You see, I'm really bored. That's right. Let's play a game. Boredom's and worse, isn't it? <laughs> Open your eyes. Here comes the scissors. Nice. That's what I wanted to do the previous time. Who is this person? What was I? I I just have to switch the channel, make everything all right, right? Just just forget them. Just keep going. Just keep going. No news crying over spilt blood. I mean milk. Hey. Don't make me a murderer. This is a very interesting world. Uh, I'll say that. It reminds me kind of like the Red Room from Twin Peaks, but imagine like the whole world is infected by it. Like you live in the Red Room. That's what I, that's what I feel like right now. Well, we did. Skippity dop, skippity doo. I get around you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Charlotte isn't here. She's all right. She learned to defend herself. Charlotte? Felix, Seth, here you are. You weren't gonna plan to jump in, were you? Good thing you're safe and sound. Are you hurt anywhere? And when in the world are you stuffing into the incinerator? Oh, you're stuffing the girl. Well, that's actually a good solution. Everyone wins out. Oh, the blood isn't mine. While you're away, I figured I'd stuff meat chunks we saw earlier in here. Meat chunks? Is that so? Are you alright? Yeah, sorry for worrying you. Jeez, I was worried about you. But here you are, covered in blood and more obnoxiously cheerful than ever. Well, sorry about that. Wait. A little chipmunk mouth. You were worried about me? That's something new. You make it sound like I'm a jerk. Well, thank you for trusting me, Seth. You truly are my friend. I am a puppeteer, not a friend. We're called Let's Players. We pick random worlds, descend upon them, talk over them, and make your life temporarily hell until we hit the ending. Unless we hit the bad ending, then your lives can be forever hell. A kind of quasi-loop, if you will. Yeah, yeah, I got it. And you're the best puppeteer ever. Let's go, everyone. I am the best. How'd you know? It's open. Charlotte? Hey, are you really alright? You're spacing out. It's nothing. Fine. You don't have to tell me what happened. Here, take my hand. Charlotte takes Felix's hand. She's shaking. Let's go in. Right. That's still shut off. This one's open, right? Hey, Felix. Yes? Can you tell me more about what we're looking for? I know I'm not as smart as you, but I'll try to understand. Well... All I know is that the people here are called Pythias, who were created by an oracle, whom they called their god, at least used to. Pythias are extremely powerful. They could alter reality to their will, which most likely resulted in different dimensions being created. From what I've gathered, every species perceived them differently. Otherwise, they wouldn't look so, uh... So human? Right, to you. The last time I visited, there were much more of them, yet we barely met anyone on our way. Most of them got killed off. This place is a mess. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Perhaps something bad had happened. That's weird. Contamination warning, organic tissue ahead. 
while we're waiting in blood. Great, dead Pythia. Poor thing. Never dead body. It's not moving. They all look the same. We'd probably look the same to them as well, you know. Not really. They literally look the same. We just look vaguely similar. There's so many of them. 